hello everyone and thank you for stopping by my channel um, thanks for uh, my new subscribers thanks for people who are uh, liking the videos so I get a little bit more uh, income which I don't get it takes a long time but you know I just I'm not you know 15,000 subscribers like 1500 or 1600 anyways um, so I appreciate that, and if you uh, like my video or comment or like and comment and subscribe, then I will be able to um, earn a little bit more money. I've I've only I've now just put two um, ads in the in the video, so it's not like every five seconds there's 20 ads in an hour video. It should be two. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know um, that I cut it way down that way. You know, won't be so um, annoying for you. Okay, so this is the paper um, that I'm going to put on the outside of the journal. I thought I'd work on the cover some. And um, this is the signatures that I've kind of put together. They still need cutting and inking and all that stuff. But um, I don't want to share that on a video because that's really boring. Um, this is what I got. This was um, at the um, thrift store. It was $1.91 for six sheets. And the uh, sheets are 16 and a half by 23 inches, so it was great um, for size. And, um, yeah, I was so excited uh, when I got this. And I wish I could have got more, but that was the only box. So if you see these and not think, well, what could I do? In fact... No, not this one. There was another one that I bought uh, was sealed up and I didn't know what was inside. And I think it was in a tube. And when I got home, it was some kind of uh, uh, one of those kid things, you know, space people things <laughs> like Star Wars or something. So that was a little disappointing. OK, so um, now I got to figure out how I'm going to put this on here. So uh, first of all, let me turn this over so I have the right side to work with, uh, to glue down. This is a cover from a, um, a novel, and they are extremely tough. And um, Laura Horner, who um, sh shared with me about how to do this or using these book covers, because I used to have a lot of them, and... Um, and so you can just, well, I, I'm not going to try to rip it, but I'm almost positive you cannot rip this, okay, in normal wear and tear. Okay, so this is a little bit um, too long, not only because it's um, long, but because it's hard to make this big of a pocket here. So I thought I might as well just cut these down at this point. But see, they make a pocket and everything, so it's pretty cool. So I'm going to cut down the two edges. I think I can put this together. I don't even know what this book is about. I buy them um, from thrift stores or wherever that garage sells if they're like 20 cents or something. And then I use the book pages. Okay, so I think I'm going to cut it. Um, let me see how far. I, okay, so if I go out this far. Let me get that on the line here. I know you can't really see what I'm doing, but it's like one and a quarter inches. I'm going to take off. Because I just really want a small pocket. Okay. If you wanted, you could glue, you know, some of this leftover up in here just to give it more strength. But I don't, yeah, I don't think uh, it's a problem. Because I'm going to cover it and put more paper in it. And I probably, I don't know if I'll sew in the signatures through the side or if I will do a... Um, hidden signature. I really love hidden signatures. They're just so easy. Alrighty, so this is going to get glued and I'm going to save as much of this as I can. So I'm going to start beyond this 
yellow here, the border. Okay, so that's pretty much where I want to start. So I'm just going to glue stick it down and I'm going to um, sew along these as well. Okay, so I just want to get this side. I need enough to wrap around to the inside. to the inside. Probably should have went more. Hmm. Well, that, yeah, let me go a little bit. I'm going to go a little bit more. And down a little. I'm going to fold this all in to this <clears throat> because I don't want any of these um, this backing to show. So if I fold it over, it won't show. Trying to get the. Can you see me? Okay. Yeah. So I hope everybody's doing well. And I don't know when this video is coming out. Um, probably Wednesday. Should be on Wednesday. This is the Glue Glue, the brand. Uh, it's G L O O, and um, one of my subbies, uh, Nonstop Mom, no, uh, posted that um, it's on Amazon, so you don't have to wait so long if you needed it right away. Um, I don't know about the expense, if it's more expensive. Otherwise, you can get it at, um, I think it's Stationery Pal is where I get it. I buy from a couple different places that Tanya at Teddy Treasure has where you get uh, a code and you get a, a discount. It takes a little longer to get here, but if you know it, you're running out. It doesn't really matter. Okay. This is all shiny paper too, so. down here that I don't it doesn't really matter though because I'm going to be turning it at least it smells good when you're working on this paper okie doke so I am just going to put this side down. If I didn't mention, this is the Romantica junk journal. Sometimes I forget. Most of the time I think, oh, everybody already knows it, probably, because I feel like I know everybody. And, uh, 
um, I'll show you in a minute. I kind of uh, learned a new trick. You're never too old to learn new tricks, or you never making journals and then you find out, you think you know it all, all of the procedures, but you find out there's a different one. So, okay, so I'm going to cut this and leave about sixteenth of an inch on the corner. And this makes a soft, pliable cover. It's not uh, stiff. And I like that fill. When I'm holding my journal, I like to have it fill soft. So save these little corners until you're done. So I'm going to fold this one in. Okay. Now the reason if if you um, and then I notice she does like well I don't have very much left but if you had a, a more and you fold up this way I'm just gonna give you an example okay well mine covered that'll be first but if it didn't that part that I cut out. I'm not sure if that's the part or not, but you can sit this back in there like that, and then when you close it, if there's a little bit showing, it won't show. You'll have the same print. So we'll see how it goes. I guess I can do the side. This is not, it's a little slick, but. Anyway, I saw that on um, scrapbooking with me. That little trick. And I got this way. Fold that over the best you can. Once in a while, that happens that you can't see like this one here. No, I got it. It's just I pulled it up tight enough. It's a pretty long piece to hold up. This paper is not so heavy that you can't work with it, but it's not so light that it feels like it will rip. Well, and yeah, this paper, the inside paper, is kind of a plastic paper, I guess. I don't know what they make it, book, the book covers out of. I've done this before. I don't know if you've seen it, but because I have new subscribers. And I don't think everybody goes back to look at all the old videos. I'm not going to worry about getting on my table here. I don't know why I keep yawning. I apologize. I don't know. It's not a normal... And a lot of times I'll put the corners um, on it also, and that way those corners are protected. All right, so now this is going to get 
we're going to put this back this way. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't need to cover this section. I'm not going to glue it yet, but that doesn't need covered. So we need to cover what's inside of here. So let me get this scored. on the inside and didn't get that. I didn't think about it. I was just worried about what I was doing here. Okay, so um, those will get glued down and be made pockets. And that will be the cover. I'm not going to um, I'm not going to crease this because I may want it just to be a rounded I think this needs to be tightened down. Okie doke. Now so I don't have to cover too much in here. I don't think I want the same paper inside. Just, I think it's might be a little too much. So, uh, let's see what papers I have. papers, I guess. What's this? Oh. I could just collage all the inside. Hmm. I pulled this fabric out. I don't know. thought maybe it might go with it. And um, let's see, that's going. Well, I could put that in there like that, right? a couple more. Oh, I have bunches. What about this? Oh, that's nice. I like that best. Nice thing is you can reprint them. All right, so that's going to be in, in that one. So what kit was this from? I don't think I wrote it down somewhere. I've got to get better at that. Got to write it somewhere. Okay. I do, do I want to ink around all this? I think I I'm gonna leave this plain. Well, let me let me um just do a real light inking up here. I don't think it'll show, honestly. I got this foam and I'm giving it a try. Let's see. Because after watching Eva at Bohemian Crafting, I really do just want to put these down and, and ink them. Not on this one, but when I do like more primitive looking stuff. Okay, 
So, how am I going to put this? I guess I'll glue stick it. <clears throat> um, I think I'll glue stick it and then go around the edges with art glitter. plaid shirt today. <laughs> I was just cold and I feel like I'm running out of clothes. Because to that time of year where you can almost feel spring because I have some, because we had warm weather a week or so and I think tomorrow is going to be 70 but it's going to rain. So the spring flowers are starting, the daffodil things, and some are wild out in the pasture. They look like a daffodil, but I don't know what they really call them. Not very good at flower names or medical terms. <laughs> I can't say them. I can't even tell you what I had. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know. Let's see. This actually is the front of this book, just in case it would matter. So let's just try to get it pretty even. Cricket. Uh, I just found this and I I put it on my desk and I'm like, wow, I should have been using this a long time ago. I have a new one, but this one just seems thinner than the one I have now. So this is collectible. Alright, so I'm going to ink around this. Oh, and I'm going to sew, so I better not close those. Um, sides yet. In fact, why don't I just put you on pause, I'll ink this, and then sew it, and then I'll come back. Okay? So hold on. Okay, I'm back. I've got um, this middle piece all glued in. Everything's inked. Um... I've sewn around it, and I was going to tell you, too, that my book, um, the cover, when I started, um, is nine and a half, and so I left it at nine and a half. My signatures, let me check what they are. My signatures are nine so i have like a quarter of an inch on on the top and the bottom like this okay so um if i do a um what do you call it spine hidden spine um i'll probably uh put lace on the back side of the spine and then glue that down there so it hides all the spine part i think that'll look good oh kadoke so anyway, it um, it was nine and a half, and then um, folded up. It is about six and a half with the spine. So see, there's hardly any measuring to do if you get the right um, sleeve, the right cover. Okay, so now I'm just gonna glue these down. Um, I'm gonna use fabric tack. Um, I don't know how, I'll just stay within this inside part. Come on. I would use art glitter glue, but I think fabric tack works a little better. 
when there's sewing involved. Okay. I don't know what happened to all my little clips. I have tons of them, but they must be clipped to something. Okay. And then do this side. too cold. It's chilly in here. Or it was last night. I, I turned the heat down. For one, I can't sleep in it. It's too hot. For two, I don't want to waste all that gas. I charge a lot for gas. Put the lid on it so it'll start oozing out. these temporarily because it doesn't dry as quickly as art glitter. I hope that's going to be good enough. Let me move these right to the corners. Get them better. All right. So now I'm going to, I think I'm going to put the eyelets in um to cloak for the closure before I do any covering. I always end up doing it after and then it doesn't always work out. So um I was thinking do I have any red or pink eyelets, but I don't think so. So let's just stay with the traditional brass. this paper I love it okay nine and a half so that would be half a nine four and a half and then four and three quarters let's see what that looks like four and three quarters right there yep that looks pretty good move it in a little bit more past the stitching oh I didn't there's no stitching on this edge okay never mind. Um, Good side. Oh, my fingers don't want to. They're cold. Come on. There we go. wrong but I don't know was that was not right so that's probably the best way to do it is get your one punched in the one you want and then punch your other hole and I'll probably 
probably use sorry silk on this. Okay, okay. So let's see if this is dry. You can tell if it's dry when it doesn't feel cold to the touch, which I really can't tell right now. But if it feels cold, it's not dry. If it's still cold, it's not dry. That's what I meant to say. I think I said that the opposite. The other day I was watching one of my videos back. Um, and I said something totally reverse to what it should have been. And if these stick up a little bit, just take a little hammer. I don't have one here. It's over on another uh, shelf. But just tap it a little bit and it'll, it'll flatten those out a little bit. Okay. Now, what do I want to put on the cover? I'm going to just clip this closed here for a second. And I don't know. Um, I pulled this out because it just looks so romantic. This was from... Um, the man that had the passport, it was in his collage. I don't know why, but it must be a, I guess it's a cruise he went on. This in 1920, 1938, it says up here. So, um, I have Oh, I have this pocket I am going to use in this. Yeah, I think I'll just put that on a page. And then I have this. I don't really want to cover up all the... <laughs> you know, when I do this, I don't want to cover it all up. So, I don't know. Let's maybe just do that one you can see through somewhat. Um, um, I don't know. Um, I didn't get a bunch of lace out yet. Probably should have done that, but I just, I want to have this hanky. And it's almost too sheer. sheer. Hmm. All right, um, I'm going to have to look for more lace. Um, Doesn't have to be all real fancy. I hate to cover these up because they're they have postmarks. Well, that one doesn't. That one has writing on the back. Hmm. Maybe that's what I'll do. Um, maybe not a postcard. But maybe just do something where it's simple, like I'll put that lace around. Where's a bigger lace? That bigger one I had. Yeah, that's not. You know, I get, you get tired of doing frames, I think. I do. But sometimes they're just so great to use. This one is... one that 
I did this, I might be able to pull that, have that card come out. Oh, I don't, I think it'd be very hard. Not enough room. Hmm. I like this because it's got the colors, the little bit of blue. I can also, well, I don't want to make that blue. But let me just check and see how blue would look as the outside. Now, I want red-ish or something. Okay, so since I, I want to figure out how can I put that card in here and make it available to come out. I could, maybe I could do it this way. <laughs> Why couldn't it, it just been a little bit bigger? I can't even cut this off. think what I could do is I was thinking I could glue an extension on here to keep it on the page. Like what would I do with that with? This was the other thing too. I just saw Tanya do something with the lace inside the frame, which I thought was pretty cool looking. I wonder if this one's big enough. This one's. So yeah, she put the lace behind it. I think she saw it on Tina at Shabby Debbie Duda. But there's that does not show that card postcard through at all but let's see what it looks like without this card yeah then it's just kind of plain <sighs> okay okay I'm sorry I lost my um memory or didn't have enough memory to finish the video but um i'm gonna say goodbye here because it is already long and then i found another postcard in my little uh, package over here and i thought maybe i would just do something simple like put some lace back in here and then this can be just a postcard and you can pull out and write on it it's all embossed um there's no date oh 1909 to Papa from Lucy. How sweet is that? Okay, so I'm going to let you go and I'll keep uh, working on this and come up with some kind of, because I do want to get this also. Um, and I think it looks okay with that. I think it looks better than this card. I do. Um, yeah, it's just so pretty. Okay, guys, I'm going to go. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, my camera quit on me, and I don't think you missed much at all. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.